My name is Bruce Wang. I'm an assistant professor in the Department of Medicine at the University of California, San Francisco. Along with my colleagues, Herbert Bankowski, Manisha Balwani, and Joseph Lim, I'd like to share some key points from a recent AGA clinical practice update on diagnosis and management of acute hepatic porphyrias. What you need to know about the acute hepatic porphyrias is that they are a group of rare genetic disorders of defective heme biosynthesis. They present with similar episodes of neurologic damage, typically as severe abdominal pain. Here are the top five things to know about the diagnosis and management of acute hepatic porphyrias. Number one, they should be considered in women during the reproductive years who present with unexplained recurrent severe abdominal pain. Number two, the initial diagnosis of acute hepatic porphyrias should be made by checking urine for the porphyrin precursors delta amino acid and porphobolinogen, which can be done in a random urine sample. Number three, acute attacks that are severe enough to warrant hospitalization should be treated promptly with intravenous hemin through a high-flow central vein. Number four, a small percentage of acute hepatic porphyria patients have frequent recurrent attacks of more than four times per year. These patients should be treated prophylactically with intravenous hemin or gavosiram a small interfering RNA targeted against ALA synthase 1. And number five, acute hepatic porphyria patients are at increased risk for live for developing liver and renal complications and need long-term monitoring. To learn more, please read the clinical practice update on the diagnosis and management of acute hepatic porphyrias published in the Gastroenterology Journal.